Good morning. Cook County prosecutors are charging the 16 year old as adult. He is scheduled to appear in court today facing first degree murder and second degree murder charges in connection with December shooting, which happened here outside Benito Juarez High School. Police Superintendent David Brown says even with the arrest, there is still no clear motive. Brown says details on the circumstances of the shooting will come out in court. He says the shooting could have been related to gang activity. The chief of detectives confirmed surveillance images released right after the incident were images of the teen arrested. Someone opened fire outside Benito Juarez as classes let out December 16th. Juarez student 15 year old Brandon Perez and Bulls College prep student 14 year old Nathan Viegas were killed. Another boy and a girl both 15 were wounded. Investigators did not release the teen suspect's name when they announced the charges. They arrested him Thursday and say he was in possession of a stolen car at the time. The victim's families believe there were more people involved in the shooting. They say they wish police had kept them in the loop. I'm still kind of lost with everything that's going on because, um, again, communication, um, knowing about what happened. Um, at this point, I still don't even know who the actual person is. Um, that they do have in custody. The community is the most important aspect of our criminal justice team. We cannot be everywhere, but the community members are. You are our eyes and our ears, and it is because of you that we are here today. Now, since the shooting in December, there has been police presence here daily at dismissal time. Schools Chief Pedro Martinez, who is a Benito Juarez grad, says that bringing this closure is important toward restoring calm and safety, the calm and safety that all schools need and deserve. In Pilsen, Judy Wang, WG.